acting on behalf of Wakash. We're not going in straight. We're not even having a sit in sight. We have taken over the yard because we refuse to accept that faceless men or any group of men in white or anyone else can take decisions that demonstrate our livelihood for the Trinity. They are not on. The joint shots choose are utterly unanimous. We're going to fight this. And we're going to fight it with a determination that Britain hasn't seen from any section of the working class this century, let alone since 1945, and we'll do it. And the government's cutting off its nose to spy his face. We're not starting for that. We will occupy this year till doomsday if we have to. They'll be run down and sing us. They'll be run down in Brockhouse. They'll be run down in Tullisys. So what do we do? What do we do? Oh my God. And we're not going to see the tight place turn into a ghost to. And what would your children say if we let the Tories walk right over us? Uh -huh. And deny them the chance of work? Aye, and the dignity of work? Oh, shut up, you shut up! Hey, cast the gyro! Come on, you ghost, you bastard! Hey, open up that door! Let's cast my check, eh? Dosh! Astonishing pace, sir, Alec. Would you not say so? Mind it. Uh, Just a wee bit of luck in the finishing department, that's all. That's all. Ten for me, I thought I bred mine. Aye, touch it. Looks like you're out of the game, son. Did you say that? Not let me cast my check. Get you back Monday. Come on, got a pint. I'm fine, I don't need it. What joke, it's me, damn. No war and want. I'll manage. Looks like Mr. McGinn's made up his mind to be a miserable bastard, Alec. Come on. See you, Joe. Oh, hey, Tom. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe just mine's a wee hoff. That's my man. I've been seen you since you're signing on, did you? I've been busy. Busy? <laughs> you hear that, Tom? Man says he's been busy. Aye. Ah. I'd like to get how a man keeps busy in this bloody tune. <laughs> hey, what are you having, mate? Uh, heavy for me. <laughs> Would you look at that? 40,000 Rangers supporters are away. Didn't you see a team full of Englishmen? Hey, hey, Times have changed, mate. At least they're winning a few games. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Come oh, on. Oh, sorry, pal. Hey, no joke. Aye, aye. Come on, come on, joke. Talk to Tom. Sorry, what are you saying? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Tell me, how have we not seen you? What's been keeping you off the streets? I don't know. This and that. I'm writing a book. A book? What a book? Working. <laughs> That's ancient history, man. What do you want to write about that? Who's going to read it? I don't know. Everybody wants. Don't waste your time. How do you know come down to the unemployed centre or something? What are the boys are there? Not much, still. I mean, you can't stew in that fly trap or a flat forever. You need to come out and play once in a while. Important things and religion to sing about. Oh, aye, when was that, may I ask? Here we go, boys. Hey, great atmosphere, eh? Well, I've got to go. I'll see you. Hey, hey, Joe. Hey, wait a minute, what are you doing? Oh, oh, Maybe they didn't like your repertoire. Aye, I was a contrary bastard. You know me, many Rangers supporters, but now I'm a gun. Shit. Hello! Hello! We are the Billy Boys! Hello!
Dan, you're Dan. What are you doing? So who is the wee lassie out in the corridor, then? What lassie? There's a wee lassie out in the corridor. I never saw anyone. Look, she'd been in that flat. Oh, she hadn't. I never saw her. Bloody cheap. Walking into somebody's flat. Willie and me are getting married. Oh. Aye. I've decided to tie the knot at last. I see. Is that all you can say? What do you expect me to say? I came round to ask if you'd give me away. In a church. What? Dad, I want to get married in a church. What do you expect? You swan about the city with a bunch of Tory parasites and I don't see you for months and end. And suddenly you turn up out of the blue and you expect me to give you away in a church to make you look respectable. You've been living with a guy long enough. God's sake. A church. Hi, Jock. Aye. Well, will you do it? We're getting married, Jock, in a church. You're the only relative the lassie's got, and she wants to know if you'll give her away, I or no. You know I don't have with churches. Cut the sermon, comrade. Yes or no? I'll wait for you in the car, Brenda. Talk to him. Him for peanut salesman. Don't start, Dad. I don't want to hear. Is he in a union? They don't have a union. No. He's got a better job than you have. Brenda, how come you don't visit me anymore? Just look at you. This place. Why don't you do something with yourself? I'll see you, Dad. Your head, son.
hello, Mrs. Donald. It's me, Joe. Joe, Joe McGinn for number three. I just want to talk to you. Hi. Oh, it's me, Joe, Joe for number three. Oh, I know who you are. What is it you want? Uh, well, uh, we've lived across the way a couple of years now, and we've never been introduced, you know. I mind my own business. I know that. I just wanted to ask you, do you know if somebody's moved into the flat next door to us? There's nobody in that flat. Kunstler coming today too, but there's nobody in it. Oh, that's what I think. It's just that, did you hear anybody playing out in the corridor last night? Oh, that's these rogues they do in stairs. No, 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 it was a bit last night she was playing just outside my door. I just thought you might have heard something. No, I mind my own business. Stay out yet! Hey, Mrs. Donald, I just want to talk. Stay here! Mind your own business! What? Sola. Brenda's getting married. 
guy's a wanker. More West End than wine bars. She's no good sort of any mere fool. I don't know what happened to her. She's changed. Maybe if you've been around a wee bit longer. You know, liked her when she was a lassie, but. She was magic. Funny. Her wee lassie in the flats reminds me of her brand when she was away. Or she made too good for government. Someone's trying to live hereabouts. All right, all right, you didn't have to do that. I'm just trying to earn a living, man. Got to be enterprising nowadays, I know, Scott. Oh, aye. It's a jungle. I can see that. Well, the way you and be enterprising in front of some other slums, eh? Who wants you? <laughs> Bust my tools. That's our son, right? Didn't he see you there? You've no right to be in here. I told you to stay out. There's nobody in this flat. I can see that. I just wonder... Don't come in here again or I'll get the police on to you. Do you hear the police? Mrs. Donald, there's something you're worried about. Something you think I should know. You know nothing. Mind your own business. There's a wee lassie. I've seen her in the corridor. We keep to ourselves in these flats. Mrs. Donald! Things. 
I suppose you're coming in. So, you want to wear the pleasure? I'm sorry if I haven't made it over for a while. Before yesterday. It's just I've been so tied up. Oh, aye. Uh, is that a fact? Look, come around sometime and have dinner with us. Get to know Willie a bit better. You know, if you gave it a chance, I think you'd find you've got a lot in common with him. I'm busy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. What's making you busy? You haven't worked in six years. Five years, four months and 23 days. I'm trying bloody hard. I can forgive and forget. Why can't you? What have you got to forgive? Nothing as far as I can see. I'm getting married and I would like I'm you busy! Smart bastard. He never change. made a tremendous error. Naturally, in this type of society, you don't have blueprints for occupying capitalist premises. And they will be demanding action what from the MPs of the Labour movement in Scotland who have been dormant during this period. We will have problems. In a perverted fashion, the Tories have done as a good turn, but all in a one vote. There will be no hooliganism, there will be no vandalism, there will be no babying.
Hey. Can you still look at her, man? Can you still look at her? Dad. Joke. That's hell of a funny, son. Hell of a funny. Don't pull a hard-nosed prod on me, Jock. I can't be bothered. Come on. I'm going to buy you a drink. She really wants you to come. It's not too much to ask that a lassie's own father comes to her bed. I know you two don't go on, but she's your daughter, isn't she? Aye. She needs you. She's no mother, for God's sake. What the hell would you call that? It's a roller coaster. A roller coaster. Kids? No necessarily. Oh, looking forward to it, are we? Things are different now. It's bringing work back again, money into this city. We'll all benefit. Oh, I imagine. We all get tired of hanging about the shopping centre to keep warm. We can all pile down here with our brew money and get a ride in it. What an amenity. You're living in the past. I have to. We build ships in this river. No fucking roller coasters. No, we don't. We do our best, all of us, with what we've got. When she was young... ...she was a brawly lassie. Me mother. A fighter. Just like Phil. She still is. Do you think you'll come? I think we'll take that drink some other time, son, OK? See you later, OK? It's me. Hello? 
Hi. Dad. Dad, is that you? Hi. Push the door. Change my mind. Oh, you asked me to go around sometime. Oh, come in then, we were just about to eat. They get visitors. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'll introduce you. Well, there might not be enough to go around. <laughs> There's plenty. Come on. Lily, look who's here. Friend, it's fantastic. Real Chinese. Where did you learn to cook like this? Well, I've always cooked. Haven't I, Dad? Eh? Hey. Aye. <clears throat> Magic. After my mother died, I had to learn fast. How awful. Brenda's always been a copa. I know, Brent. Have a good bye, friend. I'm just Right. Hi, Dad. So, Brenda says you're a shipwright, Mr. McGinn. Joke. Yeah, yeah, Jock. I was. Did you get promoted? No, I'm made redundant. Oh, you must have been very unlucky, I'm sure. Still, I expect something will turn up. It always does, doesn't it? Any ketchup? No. I hear they're building some great wee houses down there in Govan. They didn't our office handle a couple of them for your people, Brenda? Oh, that's right. How much was it they went for? About 34, 35k. Yeah, see, it's a great investment. Honestly, I'd advise anyone to buy into Govan. Okay, it's a bit of a dump now, sure. But it's coming back up. You know, give it a few years, that'll be the place to be. It's pretty in a funny kind of a way. All those old cranes and things. And property besides the river always fetches more, doesn't it? In the long run. Yeah, you've got to take the long-term view, you know, get the right deal. Actually, I'm surprised you and Brenda haven't considered one of those places, Willie. I mean, for the same money as this place, OK, it's a merchant city, sure. But, I mean, you could get a couple of bedrooms, a garden, you know, for when you start the family. Ah, well, I wouldn't mind, but Brenda didn't fancy it. Why not? I mean, back to your roots and all that. I don't know. Too many memories, I suppose. I spent too long trying to get away to go back now. I never really liked it that much. Oh, you had it tough, Brenda. I mean, I'm sure it isn't as bad as all that, is it? Jock. I mean, everyone's got bad memories of their childhood. Haven't they? Terribly young when your mother died, Brenda. Ah, she was. Too young to remember. Oh, I can remember plenty. It's you who's forgotten it all. Is that a fact? Well, I better go. Thanks for the chunky. Why don't you get off her back? You made her life a misery when she was a kid, and now you're trying to screw her up again. We used to go on fine. Did you, hell? I did my best for her. She understood in the days. All she understood was that she never saw her own father. He was too busy pissing around with his lefty friends. No! Why, you were all starting a revolution. She was back in that slum making your tea. A bloody housewife by the age of eight. Look, son, we were fighting for a future. Bollocks. She doesn't want to be a part of your fantasy. She never did. Look at my road. 
Why don't you admit it? She doesn't want you anymore. Don't bother coming to the wedding. You're a relic. You still there? How can I help you, sir? What's your name? Janice. Hello, Janice. How you doing? Cheers.
And this and all this will be yours. That's good, old mate. The old warrior goes to his comrade warmly. I see you there creeping up me. Don't do that. Don't do that, growled the old soldier. For I'm an ex-socialist, trained to kill a reflex. Who are you? Come on, it's your side of Monday. You're not going to tell me you forgot. Hey, Tam. Manny Meyer used to catch this ferry on my way across for a tea on a Friday. What? No remember. Never met the woman. No man, the ferry. It's just another boat in the river, Jock, sir. So what? Aye. Do you never think about the past, Tom? I haven't got time for the past. No pay the gas bill and you can't buy a pint with it. For God's sake, Tom, I'm a shipwright, same as yourself. We build ships. No, only me here. No. Redundant. Listen. We're not working. We had something gone for us then. We really did. All the boys put one out of the bastards. There were good days. They weren't they that good? We didn't keep our jobs, did we? And I seem to remember it wasn't just exactly the garden of Eden around here when we did hear them. I'm not going to sign in, I don't care. Come on, I'll get you up the road. How's your Brenda getting on, then? She's getting married. Married? Great. You know, pleased. Come on, Jock, it's Tuesday morning. Pubs are open and you haven't got any work to go to. You've got the world at your feet. Cheer up, for God's sake. Tom, do you believe in ghosts? What? Ghosts, do you believe in ghosts? No. No. Yeah, they are. You're crazy, son. Crazy. <laughs> Yeah, hurry up. I'm not careful what I sign on. Dump. God's sake. How'd they get in? Get the door locked. You wouldn't have credited it. They didn't exactly come in the window, did they? What are you going to do? Nothing. Nothing? You can at least phone the police. Nothing, right. For the insurance. Right. Come on. Morning, brothers. Hey, Tam, how's it going? Can you tell? Look, you're for my stockbroker anyway. Hey, Joke, how's the book going? Okay. I'll leave my lane, Alec. He's not having a good day. Oh, what's the score, Joke? Some bastard only turned his flat over while he's out to his morning constitutional. It's a liberty. Bastard never even knocked in. No, I've just rumbled the place up. Ah, kids. McCallum Court, is it, no, Joke? Aye. Now, how long have you been in there? A couple of years. Ah, you wouldn't be there when that heat case put his last out the window. What? Aye. What was your name again, Alec? It was in the paper. Uh, Doherty, was it? Doherty. A wee lass, he been kicking his shit up. Oh, a real bumper. The way I heard it, she was better after it. Oh, my God. Eh, when it happened in the old days. <laughs> you start a Third World War and high flats, maybe would notice. <laughs> what flare was this? Don't know. High enough, I'll tell you. He took a high dive as well, didn't he? Hey, hey, what are you going? Hey, hey, you have to sign on, you... Hey. Mr. Donald, open up! I want to talk to you! Mr. Donald, don't hurt me! You hear me, Mr. Donald? I want to talk to you, but don't hurt me! It's a way! Go away! Mr. Donald, if you don't own this door, I'll kick it to him! Please. I've got you to go, please. It's important, Tim. Hey, 
bent to come in, son. What was her name? Jeannie. Jeannie. Jeannie Dollard. Kunsel put them in. They put all the ones in here. The ones they want to forget. What about the mother? Nay, mother, just him and her. If you all knew what was going on, I didn't need to try and stop them. Stop them? You knew the guy was battering her. Maybe did anything about it. There was a lad tried. Doc had to get him down in the basement. So we minded our own business. What? There wasn't anything today. My God, woman. He killed her. And you all let him. Wasn't he like that? You're no seeing it. Doherty was not normal. He was evil. You hear her as well, don't you? I'll always hear her. Had any day in about it. She was such a bonny lassie. And you can what? She loved him. Even when he battled her, she loved him. I don't understand this. I don't believe in ghosts. What am I to do with this? I can see her. Every night I can see her. I think I'm going to have my head. It's in your past, son. It's in your cell. You're just like me. You'll always hear her. I'd better go. When you go, son. Just a pickle of beans covered
Premiership winner in 83 was Bert Cameron of Jamaica, one point. Right, Brian, your action is a 17 <laughs> Name either of the goal scorers and the opposition. <laughs> Brenda? How are you? Fine. Better. Thanks to book. That's good. You set a date for a wedding, yeah? Aye. Next month. 16th. That's good. Great. I'd like to be there. I'll send you an invite then. Ah. You know where I live. <laughs> 